blood pressure I can dilate. Okay, so that means that at 50 um, versus a uh, osmotic pressure of 25, there's so much protein in the blood that the um, osmotic pressure across all of this membrane is 25 millimeters of mercury. Now over here, the 50 is going to win out over the 25. Okay? So the 25 is constant throughout that proximal to distal length. But at the proximal end, I have 50. And I get filtration of nutrients. What are the nutrients? They're oxygen, water, glucose, essential amino acids, and fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. So all of that's going to flow out, and the cells will have metabolism. So that's going to be the input. These cells have their metabolism, and there's output. That means CO2, water, urea, probably some creatinine, something like this. Breakdown products. We're going to go back up. Over here at the midpoint, not much going on. Down here at the venous end, I only have 10 millimeters of mercury or so. 10 to 15. And so that means reabsorption is going to happen because 25 will win. Okay? And there'll even be something called solvent drag, which means the water goes through and it drags things with it. Okay? So um, that's the idea of this situation. It turns out that um, in this capillary bed, which is beginning here and ending here, there's lots of other capillary beds, some of which begin and end here, right? Begin here and here. So that means these cells are seeing a variety of proximal and distal capillaries. And so they're getting fed from a different bunch of places and they're giving up um, metabolite to a bunch of places. So all this is happening all at the same time. If these cells need to be replaced, they can break down light or whatever and they can be taken up by capillary end cells, or end capillaries, uh, rather, uh, for the lymphatic system. And they have actually little doorways that open and close. So that means that debris, cell debris and stuff like that can go through and get filtered. Okay, as you go further and further along the venous system, you'll notice that the blood pressure gets even lower than 10 or 15. It can get all the way down to lower than one atmosphere of pressure. So we're in a sense vacuuming the blood back up. And you need to have that uh, muscle pump or even respiratory pump in order to make that happen. Okay, so the more times we do around around the pond or the, the lake or wherever we're going around, that means the more we're actually able to uh, get blood flow and movement and the more effective our bodies will be. So it's important to do it actually every day. There's a lot of people who just don't have time uh, or they only have time to do a little bit. Okay, I can only do a half an hour or 45 minutes today. That just means that tomorrow I can do a few hours and clean up really well. Okay, you don't have to necessarily take a shower every single day.